Valley woman thought that she was falling in love. Instead, her retirement savings was taken. Steve Nielsen has a story for us tonight. Steve, this we have heard stories like this. It is really heartbreaking. It is. They're called romance scams, and the FBI says, like a lot of these scams, it's on the rise right now. Connie reached out to us. She wanted to share her story. She says that this isn't just a financial loss for her. Her heart is broken, too. After her husband of more than 40 years died, Connie was lonely and started online dating this fall, and it wasn't long before James Herman found her. He just said things that I had not heard maybe ever or... In a very, very long time. He said all the right things for sure. He was perfect, a Prescott architect who was out of the country traveling for business but headed back to Arizona soon. I was not thinking with my head, I was thinking with my heart. James sent her a check for $720,000 and showed her an online account of a million dollars. It was a complicated plan, but basically if she just sent him some money, $125,000, he could get out of some legal trouble and then they would come back and cash the check together. It's like going all over the place, trying to get money, find Bitcoin machines, and oh, it was horrible. It's horrible. She says she got suspicious and went to the bank to look at the check. It was a fake. She didn't notice it was signed Oprah Winfrey. It's a big freaking joke. Yeah, at my expense. Her retirement plan, gone. Shocked. I'm like, oh my God, I've been taken. Once she called James out, he started sending gifts, a mural of their pictures, cheap jewelry, and then a blanket of their faces. It, it's weird. It's just weird. I feel bad because she was duped thinking she might have been talking to me. It turns out the photos were of Donnie Bennett. Reverse image search found the Rhode Island realtor whose pictures have been used by scammers for years, he says. They'll do anything. They're nefarious. Uh, anything they can do to inch their way into someone's circle of trust and break down that barrier. It's called a romance scam. According to the FBI's Internet Crime Complaint Center, 651 Arizonans say they fell victim to romance scammers last year, totaling $20.9 million. That's a 65% increase from the year before. But everything he said was a lie. Connie has filed reports with the police, FBI, and Attorney General's office. It is an embarrassing thing. It is a little bit humiliating putting my story out there, but I'm, I really want this guy caught because this is not right. James Herman's dating profile on the app has now been deleted. Connie says that a lot of those gifts that she received came from America, so she's hopeful that those details might help investigators piece all of this together. We've posted a lot of other information and tips on our website about romance scams, fox10phoenix.com. Reporting live, Steve Nielsen, Fox 10 News.